so like Mr. Bean, I am in beach, beach. Hey guys, welcome back to the new vlog. So bags are packed as there is a strike tomorrow that is on 7th July and it's going to be very violent. So we are trying to re relocate ourselves to a different place. Actually our destination is Malindi but we don't find a date bus so we are going to Mombasa. From Mombasa it is hardly two hours drive. So tonight we are going to stay for one night in Mombasa and again we will be coming back to Mombasa. So during this journey we passed through a place called Savo and it is very interesting and I would like to share the details regarding the Savo. Also we can expect some wild, wildlife uh, animals on the roads so fingers crossed maybe luck is mine today because I have seen bad luck since a couple of months so let's expect fun in this trip. stopped us for pee for three minutes or five minutes and uh, people who want to buy there is a store here and they can buy things so I could not record my voice in the bus because uh, they get the movie and it is loud so this is the luxury seats and I would like to show you what exactly we have uh, in luxury seats There is a USB charge and a bottle stand and seats are pretty comfortable and you can see the leg room here so it's good because my height is something 6 feet so usually I suffer a lot but this one is good Last night we got in, we got down in Mombasa, but our destination is to Malindi. So we had to book a room because we don't really want to travel in nights because uh, there is no proper road care taken by the drivers and uh, we see accidents very frequently throughout Africa. So we have avoided uh, traveling at night and we booked a room uh, which is about eight dollar each. Uh, we have booked two rooms with double bed and we had stayed at night and today morning we are here to continue our journey to Malindi and it is approximately about uh, two and a half hours drive as you all know these people leave when the matato is full so I'm just waiting for the people to fill in this matato so that we can have this journey and we can continue so stay tuned so yeah you're wondering where am I so I would like to tell you a short story which happened to me so I was sick in Malindi for two days and uh, I was taking rest completely and I didn't go out to explore and also I felt that place was a little bit boring and uh, so today morning I took my cab and I straight away came to Matuapa you know Matuapa uh, it's in Kilifi County and uh, mostly most of the foreigners reside here and they prefer to come here because there is uh, sex tourism a lot like uh, you get number of prostitutes here and the knife life is something different when compared to all African countries and there is child uh, even children like young girls were into 
prostitution so it has a vibrant vibe here so today we are out walking and uh, we are just going on on a tour to explore this place and also i just want to see the coast here because i have missed in malindi so let's explore the coast and also let's explore the streets of uh, matwapa hello so so i just want to update you people that whenever you visit kenya there is one thing you have to know the officials here are very corrupted okay and even though i have mistake on my side as well what happened is they could have addressed me for the first time or left me for the first time what really happened is i was smoking a cigarette okay so immediately a cop came and uh, he kept uh handcuffs to my both the hands and he was uh, demanding me to take to the court so i said that uh i'm just here right now i don't know the rules and regulations then he was like give me something better give me something better give me something better so he was demanding for 5000 shillings that is something approximately 45 50 dollar bill so <sighs> even i did a mistake uh, because i just need i just don't need that shit i just don't want to be in jail for all this foolish kind of a stuff so i paid him 2000 shillings and uh, well it's a good practice so this is the point you should make a note when you're visiting in kenya so there are some special places where you can smoke even i didn't see the cops said the same thing and the second one is and the second thing is uh, i just want to address you people that if you smoke you are sent to the court and uh, you might be paying fine along with imprisonment that is up to 3 years <laughs> so i don't want to take a chance so that's the reason why i paid i bribed uh, a police cop so be careful when you do this uh, when you're visiting in kenya uh, you can still smoke but not on the uh, main roads uh, you can go into the sub lanes and you can smoke but if you are lucky then that's good if you are not lucky i can't even help you so uh, actually i was checking my google maps and uh, the coast i mean the beach is around 3 kilometers so i'm a bit hungry and uh, i'm going back to the hostel so to eat something because uh, i guess my hostel has a good cafeteria by the way i forgot to tell you that the place which i stayed in nairobi was shit it was too smelly and the bathroom has no doors and second in malindi it's a gone case ha ah, it stunks a lot i felt like i was sleeping in sewage So this hostel is pretty good. I'll show you the view of the hostel. And uh, there is a club, cafeteria, and residential place, like to lodging and boarding. so guess what uh, where am i i guess you can see in the background so this is uh, the place i just want to show you people that is uh, matwapa beach and uh, i guess the water is back maybe at nights we can expect them coming front further and it's oh it's too wet 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. So let's check out the view on the front side. It's good. So this is the view of uh, Matwapa Beach and down the lane there you can see the Indian Ocean and these are some mangroves I guess uh, yeah it's mangroves let's go further so uh, in Matwapa like uh, as I said uh, it is <laughs> it's an adult city and uh, you can expect all the shit here uh, maybe at night times and uh, I just got to know that there are many pros you understand that prostitutes right and uh, the second one is this beach there is only one place to hang out is that is beach and during season uh, you can expect many foreigners here coming out from Europe and uh, British and United States and they spend time and they go back again so yeah I would like to address you one more thing the population according to 2019 stats is around 100k okay that is 100,000 people is the population here so actually as I said I was a little bit sick uh, in Malindi and uh, yesterday evening I just got to know that uh, there is a protest and strike from the opposition party so as we all know Kenya had elections last year August and uh, these opposition leaders were aren't uh, satisfied with the present government rules because all the groceries and goods and everything are up to high stakes so it's every house has a problem right way back in India we do have some problems so it's a part and parcel of the world let's not bother that but what exactly happens during the strike is these people try to take advantage I'm not addressing all okay mark that very few people there are few people who can take an edge on you and they can steal and rob you and even it sometimes it might go worse than you expect so I just want to be on a safe side so that's the reason why I'm moving inch by inch to the safest corner which I can feel I'm safe and uh, yeah I'm not addressing anyone or anybody or particularly one group or something because in a society you have good and bad that is how the society is built if everybody is good then everybody is boring as well <laughs> so let's check out the mangroves here uh, so these are uh, mangroves and uh, mostly these this wood is used to build boats as far as I know and you can see it spreads a lot and I'm a little bit scared to go inside but I give a try